In this video, I will show you how you can install Parrot Security OS on a USB drive. This will not be a live USB drive meant primarily for testing, this will be a full Linux installation on a USB drive. That means that you can update the system and everything you do or change on the USB drive will be saved back to the drive. In previous videos I installed many Linux distributions on a USB drive, like Ubuntu, Manjaro, Linux Mint, Kali Linux, Pop OS, and DevOS, Chrome OS, and the list goes on and on, and I also probably covered your favorite distro. So for instance, if you're interested how to install Pop OS on a USB drive, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. But before we start with Parrot OS, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev, or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description, and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. Parrot OS, a Linux distribution that is meant to be used by security specialists, it provides tools for penetration testing, attack mitigation, security research, forensics. It's similar to Kali Linux and almost as old as Kali, Parrot OS has been around for more than a decade now. Although Kali Linux seems a bit more popular these days, with Parrot OS you basically get the same set of tools and it also has some distinct features that Kali does not have out of the box. Like for instance, Parrot OS is also meant to be used as a daily driver, what Kali isn't, or at least it's not advertised like that. And another handy feature that Parrot OS can do out of the box, it can boot from RAM only, and we will see how this works in this video. It also mentions that Parrot OS is for hackers, so if I would do hacking stuff, then I would probably feel like a pirate, and what does a pirate need? A parrot, of course, and not the Kali dragon. Let's try to install that one, go to download. Here you can choose your edition, security is the default, which is for penetration testing, or if you want you can choose the home edition, which is more for daily use, privacy and software development for instance. I will go with the security edition and go to download, click on ISO, no wait for the download, it has 4.9 gigabytes, download complete and here is the ISO. This is the ISO with the live environment, it's not the full Parrot OS, it's just the installer, and first we need to flash this one on a USB drive. Then we will use this USB drive with the live environment to install Parrot OS on a second USB drive. So yes, we will need two USB drives. The first USB drive with this live environment can be any off the shelf stick, it doesn't really matter. But the second USB drive with the full Parrot OS installation should be a more faster one, it should have a decent read-write speed, otherwise the whole system will be very slow, you will get really frustrated, and it doesn't matter if you have the newest machine, if the USB drive with the operating system is the bottleneck. So get a decent USB drive. So with that said, let's flash this one on the first USB drive, and therefore we will use a tool called Rufus. This is Rufus, the official website, and I use this tool in almost every Linux installation video so far, so if you've been following me then you already know how this one works. Scroll down, click on the download link, download complete, let's open it, this is it. Now it's the right time to plug in the first USB drive, the off-the-shelf stick for the live environment. I will do it as well. It already recognized my USB drive. Now select the ISO. Here it is. Leave everything else on default and click start. Now this step is important, we have an ISO hybrid image and in this case we don't want the ISO image mode, we want the double D image mode and select OK. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted, so if you have anything important on there make a backup first, I don't have anything important so I will just continue. And let's wait. Finished, let's close it. The USB drive with this ISO is now ready and now we need to boot into it. I will assume that you know how to boot from a USB drive, you plug in the USB drive, you restart the system and then while the system is restarting you press one of the function keys, it's usually F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer, then you should get the boot menu and inside the menu select the USB drive and it should boot into it. I will do the same on my machine as well and I'll see you in the live environment. Here we are inside the Parrot OS live environment. This is now running from the USB drive, but it's not the full Parrot OS, it's just the live environment with the installer. We want to install the full Parrot OS, so now it's the right time to plug in the second USB drive for the full Parrot OS installation. 
I will do it as well and go to install Parrot. Here is the installer. I will go with the defaults. So English is OK. Location is OK. Keyboard as well. Now this is the important step. Up here, select the USB drive that you just plugged in. This is the one in my case. And select Erase Disk. If you want, you can also create a swap partition. But I will continue without a swap partition. Then down here, you can see the partitions that will be created. In my case, it will create an EFI partition and a Parrot partition. If you want, you can also encrypt those and add a password. But I will leave those unencrypted. And continue. Now here, add your user and give it a strong password. Next. Here you get a quick summary what will be done and install. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the second USB drive will be deleted. So if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there. So I will just continue and install. And now let's wait. Installation complete, all done. Now we need to restart and boot into this newly installed Parrot OS. Again, while the system is restarting, you need to go into the boot menu and select the newly installed USB drive. So make sure you don't select the USB drive with the live environment. Just plug out the first USB drive. I will restart my machine as well, and I'll see you in the newly installed Parrot OS. And here it is, the full Parrot OS running from a USB drive. Let's see what we have. NeoFetch. So we are running Parrot OS version 5.3, kernel 6.1, and we are using the Mate desktop. As you can see, we are running at 885 megabytes of RAM, which is awesome because Mate is very lightweight. And the desktop environment itself looks very nice as it is. When it comes to applications, under pen testing, you have a real arsenal of penetration testing applications. So if you're doing security research, then this one is definitely for you. I also mentioned that you can boot the whole Parrot OS from RAM only. This feature is only available out of the box inside the live environment and you can activate it using a grub menu entry. So let's use the first USB drive with the live environment again and let's see how this works. Again, restart the system, open the boot menu and select the USB drive with the live environment and then you should get the grub menu. I will do the same on my machine as well and I'll see you there. Here we are inside the grub menu of the live environment and here select advanced modes, enter. The first menu entry is RAM mode, and that's the one we want. So if we select this one, then the whole operating system will be loaded into RAM. So let's try it out. Enter and boot. This is now Parrot OS running from RAM only. And up here you can see also by this indicator that we are using a lot of RAM. Let's see the system monitor. And yes, we are using 6.1 GB of RAM, a lot more than 800 MB that we had previously. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. This is not the first time that I'm loading the full operating system from RAM only. In a previous video, I showed you how I can load the full installed Ubuntu desktop from RAM and boy, you need a lot of RAM for that. So if you are interested how to run full Ubuntu from RAM only, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And if you really, really like the video, you also have a super thanks down there where you can buy me a coffee, for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.